happened in Coleman County, Alabama, uh, Seaside Beach Racket and Resort. This happened September the 7th. The man is uh, Deputy Kenneth Booth Jr. And, the, and he's a cop. And his girlfriend, uh, he's 28. The girlfriend is Alexis White. She's 23. Just got her little degree. She's working as a dispatcher. So I'm assuming dispatcher, 911 operator, okay? So they went out for a little, uh, I don't want to say love shack, but a little getaway, a little rendezvous. Got into it. 2.45 a.m. in the morning, September the 7th. That was a Thursday this week. What are you getting into at 2.45 a.m. in the morning? The only thing y'all should be getting into is getting jiggy with it. I don't know. Hey, I don't know, you guys. I'm just saying. Uh, maybe getting ready to go down to Denny's. Well, hey, they're in a resort, so they can call and ask some people to bring them some food. I don't know. I'm watching... Maybe ABC, Good Morning, not the Good Morning America, but the, the World News. Or better yet, just sleeping. But they got into a heated fight. Homie, that's why I call him homie. And said, so said, hey, babe, you know, I'm just going to get out of here and go drive. Or just go take a walk on the beach. Or I'm going to go sleep downstairs in the visitors or whatever. What comes to his mind is, I'm going to just go get my strength. And they said that he shot the chick, not one time, a couple times, and the young lady uh, was deleted. And then he turned the strap on himself. Nurse office confirms it was their deputy and dispatcher who died in Orange Beach in an apparent murder-suicide today. As WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold reports, the tragedy unfolded early this morning. Hours after gunfire erupted at the Seaside Beach and Racket Club, investigators were still on scene. Vacationers at the condo say they awoke to gunfire and puddles of blood in a common area of the complex in what looked like a scene from a movie. Orange Beach police got the call at 2.45 Thursday morning. Uh, upon the officer's arrival, he located two persons who suffered from gunshot wounds and both of those persons uh, succumbed to those gunshot wounds. Coleman County Sheriff Matt Gentry identified the two as Deputy Kenneth Booth and Dispatcher Lexi White. He says the two were in a dating relationship, that an argument between the two ended in Booth shooting White and then turning the gun on himself. Orange Beach police are continuing their investigation while cleanup crews try to get rid of any sign of the tragic confrontation that took two lives. In Orange Beach, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5. Reading because you know I'm nosy. You know I am nosy. So I was reading the comments and some people that was at the resort said that they kept asking the police and the people on staff what was going on because uh, some people said they could hear the commotion from uh, uh, down the ways or maybe in the next rooms and they didn't know. They were in complete dark. Nobody would tell them. So what his mom decides to do, her name is Miss Adrian Booth. She gets on Facebook and she says uh, something about my son has been welcomed or is welcomed in heaven. And then people hurry up replying, what about Alexis? What about her? She's a sweet, innocent young lady and that she was a petite young lady. She was real nice. You're talking about your son who was the aggressor who was the killer who was the one who deleted this young lady mama his mama she's saying hey my son has been welcome to heaven well i want to tell you mama mammy and all the other mammies and i'm fixing to throw my little two cents my little 25 cents my little 50 cents I saw, I'm not going to name the pastor, but I saw him on TBN. If y'all don't know what TBN, Trinity uh, Broadcast, Trinity Christian Broadcasting. Okay, I think, hey, y'all know, it's a, it's a Christian station of uh, family. Uh, the Crouch family started it in the 70s, and, and they passed, and their son and their wife, the wife used, I forgot what her name, Jan. She used to wear a big 
huge big white wig and she had them long long eye eyelashes kind of like the way um golly the baker wife what was that lady said why can't i remember those people and i should because my parents my mom watched those people religiously so uh i saw a pastor and all i'm gonna say his name is jack i was doing my hair in the bathroom the tv was blasting loud and it was one sunday and he's an old school pastor I don't think he's as old school as Pastor Hagee is from San Antonio, but Mr. Jacket, Reverend Jack is old school. So I was like, what? He said, well, I want y'all to know that when people commit suicide, they're still going to heaven. And that was it for me because all I've ever known since growing up and being in school in Catholic school, when we went to also Baptist, you commit suicide, you kill yourself, you, you uh, delete yourself. I'm sorry, because YouTube is really striking people. Hey, I have a small chat. Hey, y'all, click like and subscribe, okay, and share. That was an automatic no-no. If your mammy or pappy died of natural causes or they went out and got ran over by a truck and you was like, oh, I'm so depressed, I'm so, I'm going to delete myself, you will not meet up with pappy or mammy. You will sit in purgatory it, it might, I don't know how many years or how many auntie. Again, I'm not your pastor. I'm not your your bishop. You need to check with them uh, from Joe Olsen to TV Jakes and you let them teach it to you, okay? Because it was taught to me and it was taught to me right. These, a lot of these pastors is about, you know, COVID came and a lot of them almost had to shut down. Some of them almost had to close their church down because they went semi-broke so they're not going to tell people teach people the real truth the way it should be taught because they don't want to offend or hurt anyone but for this woman to sit up and say hey my son is in heaven and your son just took an innocent young pretty girl life away this young girl will not be able to have kids she will, will not be married will not have kids when I grow old, when I be there to take care of her parents, when there are senior citizens, her friends, all they're going to have is just memories, a picture of her. He didn't give her the decision or the, the choice to say, hey, old gal, old girl, hey, little pumpkin, hey, little chickadee, I'm mad as you know what, why don't you leave? First of all, y'all, why, why, why he's got a gun? If y'all on a lovey-dovey uh, love shack evening, why would he bring the gun to the room? Why Why do, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've, I've never been with office. Well, I know officers, but I've never been actually dating or messing with one, but I know of them. I'm trying to figure, why would you need to bring your strap with you if y'all on a weekend for lovey-dovey with that i mean do are they supposed to bring it with them do you leave i don't know but i want to know why he wasn't man enough to walk away so again they can do the crime but they can't do the time he did the crime but when he thought about it like oh no I, I can't be put in jail. I can't go to prison with them thugs. I can't be in prison with the same people that I done sent to prison. So let, let me delete myself. Well, Kenneth, you're not going to be with Alexis, okay? You're going to be going to somewhere else. I hate to break the story to your mama, Adrian, but no, you, you won't be there to see mama and papa and great, great grandmama and papa. It doesn't work that way. You're going to go somewhere else sit in purgatory for I don't know how many unteen hundreds of years or how it go, but you won't be let in the pearly gates with Miss Alexis. This domestic violence got to stop, you guys. I don't know if she knew the dude was crazy. I don't know what set him off, but hey, we the people, I'm going to keep it real, manelinated people, cocoa people, chocolate people, we dealing with all day long. Because to me, it's like you almost like a little target. You're out there walking, whether you jaywalk and whether you're sitting on your porch eating a burger or, or chewing fries, whether you get into a little uh, talking back or sassiness or not sassiness, you having a little, uh, I don't know, argument with someone in a store, cops call, or hey, you driving, mind your business. 
that can stop you for anything. Your tail light might not be broken. You probably did make your right or left turn. You still get stopped and one thing leads to the next. Hey, we've been dealing it, dealing with it for unteen. Now we now people are beginning to see. I saw some comments when people were saying exactly what I'm saying and know that we're not uh chocolate cocoa people. They were just saying how they are really scared to be out there and about with these cops like this Kenneth Booth uh person, like this Francesca, Francesco Marlett person. I told you about the dude that I knew personally, a nice looking guy pulling women over in the in the heavy uh, club area district of our town making them follow him somewhere and making them perform you know what acts on him okay i told you about that i told you about my boss well it's not really my boss my assistant team lead at my old job when i worked at sam's uh told me how her husband told her that when he go to these events invited by a friend who's a cop that lived next door most of the the cops that's there more than half they're not there with their wives they're there with their women there's their mistress their other woman okay again you know we got some good cops just like hey but this is is out of control the domestic violence the we can't talk you don't want to talk you just want to howl and scream. The woman's not doing or saying what you want. So you just get your strap. And you're going to, he's going to, whatever, to get her in line. He's not mad enough to take the medicine. He going to lead himself. I'm tired of it. And I know you guys and girls, I know you're tired of it. So, hey, Lee, I don't have time for the third one. I will share the third one on with another video. Uh, that third one will be about the, a couple in Oklahoma. And also I'll be talking about another domestic, not domestic, but child battery, uh, so-called boyfriend. You chicks, y'all gonna learn. Keep these boyfriends, violent boyfriends. And first of all, violent boyfriends, men, I'm sorry, y'all gonna get mad at me. Nobody's supposed to be disciplining your child but you. I don't care if you are paying the rent. I don't care if you are paying the car. No, you don't put your hands on my kid. I do the disciplining so hey leave me your comments tell me what you think miss alexis and her family up in prayers condolences love healing and all the other domestic violence survivors and the other women the people and men that we have lost so again i want to thank you for joining me at maria loves to talk stay healthy happy and blessed thank you